Okay, this is Chip Mitchell. Uh, we'll be joined very shortly with Ashley Theopain, and uh, we're going to just talk to him uh, about his big, very, very big, biggest fight of his career upcoming with Adrian the Problem Broner uh, next Friday. On um, Spike TV and uh, at the DC Armory, Washington DC, and uh, Ashley should be joining us in another uh, couple of minutes, or another few minutes, I should say. So uh, this is an interesting matchup. Um, Ashley is uh, 35 years old, and he's not a, a a knockout guy. He's more of a boxer, but he has a very awkward. If you haven't seen him, I advise you to go to YouTube or call your DVD guy, your boxing guy, and uh, watch some copies, uh, or, or watch, I should say. Uh, make some copies of his fights or just watch them online. Um, I think he's a live dog in this fight and we will uh we'll get in get into that a little bit with Ashley, so he should be joining us uh should be joining us shortly. Now he's calling us from his uh camp which uh more than likely the, the somewhere in the Mayweather gym. Uh, Mayweather Boxing Club in Las Vegas, and also on the card, uh, we got some some DMV talent. We got uh, Javante Davis, Tank Davis. We were at his media day yesterday, uh, which was um, Wednesday, March 23rd, and we're about a week, a little over a week, a week and a couple of days out. The uh, weigh-in will actually be at the National Harbor, and I really think that this is, we had a Golden Boy card in um, Washington, D.C. We have this uh, Mayweather Promotions in Washington, D.C. at the Armory, and there's going to be another fight card. Uh, Badu Jack will be defending his title against uh, Lucien Butte. So... I think this is all a prelude for the new MGM that's being built uh, at the National Harbor, uh, Washington, D.C., slash Maryland, slash Virginia. I think this is just a, a, a litmus test, if you will. It's going to test the, the Washington, D.C. market as far as talent is concerned. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, but. Um, I welcome big fights at the East Coast. Uh, New York, of course, Brooklyn, Madison Square Garden. Atlantic City's faded a little bit, but it's, it's still a player in this game. And uh, this new MGM definitely would be a, a big thing for boxing, uh, especially in the, the DMV. And that stands for uh, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, for those who don't know. Um... J. Leon Love is also on the card. Uh, Mayweather, another Mayweather promotions fighter. And um, we also have Demond Nicholson, who's uh, out of Maryland. Hard-hitting, hard-hitting young man. He a uh, knockout guy. So um, he gets a little exposure. And uh, I believe... Uh, Anthony Peterson's been added to the card, if I'm not mistaken. I, I just ran across his name, so um, we'll see. We'll see. So we're standing by, and uh, we should be joined any minute by Ashley Theo Payne, and we're gonna uh, see if we see if we can get see if we can get a good 30 minutes or so of his time. Um, if 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 we can, once it gets 
close to fight week, things get hectic. So hopefully we can get in for maybe 30 minutes. It will take 15 minutes and try to get as many questions as we can. Uh, boxing's back. Boxing's back. It's 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 big. I mean, we got big names. It doesn't matter who who is promoting or who uh, who is behind it. We just want to see um, decent matchups. They don't have to be the greatest matchups all the time. Though we we prefer that, but uh, we have a lot of a lot of things lined up. Um, I'd say this first slash second quarter of 2016 um especially coming actually it, we had the, the card with tony thompson and uh the real king kong louis ortiz that happened a few weeks ago and uh of course everyone remembers the jesse vargas saddam ali fight um we have the Broner Thea Payne, as I as I said, uh, coming up next Friday. Um, they're trying to match Terrence Crawford up with uh, Victor Postol. I'll I'll believe that <laughs> when I see it. Um, so definitely a lot of action. Of course, the the once postponed uh, Porter uh, Keith Thurman defending against, against Sean Porter. We got Deontay Wilder. Um, heading to Russia for that fight. Of course, we have um, Andre Ward this weekend battling uh, Sullivan Barrera. That should be interesting. We, we this this will be speaking of a litmus test. This will be a good test to see where uh, Andre Ward is at, at, at fighting a, a strong guy at 175. So we'll see how that. And uh, 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 Sullivan Barrera is trained by Abel Sanchez, who trains Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin has something coming up against a, a DMV fighter, Dominic Wade, and also um, Chocolatito, Chocolatito, Gonzalez, he'll be on the card <coughs> also. So uh, then we move on. We have, um, of course, Errol Spence taking on Chris Algieri um, later on in April, and some other fights mixed in between that that should be good John Molina Jr. and um, Provodnikov um, they take their they take center stage uh, I believe that one is in in New York if I'm not mistaken in Verona New York and uh, we'll see of course absolutely uh, Manny Pacquiao Timothy Bradley I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that so um we'll see we'll see and uh so we're here we're we're um waiting for uh ashley the to call in uh i just got some breaking news Based on the news that just broke regarding Adrian Broner, we're going to have to postpone the interview with Ashley Theopane. Ah, boy. Okay, um, I'm going to end this conference call. I might post it. I have no idea what news just broke about Adrian Broner. I'm not by a computer. Oh boy. Let me let me let me look at my let me look at my mobile phone. See if I can. Adrian Broner goes off on Mayweather. I still don't see anything. Adrian Broner accused of violent robbery. Warrant issue for his arrest. Oh boy. Adrian Broner is a wanted man after allegedly beating the crap out of a guy outside of Walmart. I'm assuming this is the breaking news. Oh boy. Um. Well, I might as well stay on. I might as well stay on. Uh, uh, boy. 
Sorry, listeners. Sorry, fans. Uh, uh, I was pumped about for this interview. Um, <laughs> Adrian Broner is a uh, uh, boy. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on. Let me see. I'm 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 kind of cheating a little bit with my mobile phone. I, I Ashley's Ashley Thea Payne's people just contacted me and said uh, something just broke. I'm assuming that's what it is. The warrant. <sighs> For his, uh, let's see if I can. Adrian Barone accused of violent robbery with gun. Warrant issued for arrest. Oh boy, this could this could seriously jeopardize um oh boy, I tell you. This, this could seriously <sighs> jeopardize uh, what's going on. Boxing superstar Adrian Broner is a wanted man after allegedly beating the crap out of a guy outside of a Cincinnati bowling alley in a violent robbery attempt with a gun. He's been charged with felonious assault and aggravated robbery, and a warrant has been issued for his arrest. Now, let, let me let, let me jump to, to, to Thurman and Porter real quick. Keith Thurman allegedly had had, had an airbag incident, and I don't think Lou DiBella helped causes at all with. The press release it, it kind of left left some mystery. Um, it, it it left uh, a lot of questions, more questions, and and than answers, and and we still haven't really gotten the answers. So Keith Thurman's doctors cleared him after about a week. Let's let's be fair and say after about two weeks he was cleared. The fight was originally supposed to take place March 12th, and Keith Thurman's doctors cleared him, and um, and then you rescheduled the fight, which you know if all of that happened, okay, fine, I'm cool with it. Then you reschedule a fight for um. June 25th, the fight was March 12th. You did you did a camp all week up to damn near March 12th. I mean, let, let's say a, a couple of weeks before March 12th. You you did you did your full camp. That's after being off eight or nine months, nine or ten months, whatever it was. Porter. Same deal. He he had what he called pre-camp, and then he gets off. Um, he and before he does the sparring thing, he had his regular camp. He's ready to go in a couple of weeks, and then this thing happens. Okay, you got cleared. Why do we have to wait? If if you went through your camp already, minus maybe that final week, week and a half, where you wanted to get to your last sparring in and what have you. Why do we have to wait three months for the rescheduled fight? If you don't smell something a little funny about that, and so I don't listen. It, it, it's been so much of a rumor that it's not even a rumor no more. Keith wasn't eager to have the fight, at least not at this particular time. But he's not scared of Sean Porter. Maybe his weight was off. Maybe the game plan just didn't. It, they had a a sparring partner who mimicked 
Sean Porter in camp, and maybe Thurman wasn't handling it well. But there was something that went down, in my opinion, because if if you're cleared, okay, get back into it a couple of weeks later, for a few weeks, for even a month, and then let's have the reschedule fight. They don't do it. I'll give you another clue. And, and you can go to thefightjournal.com and listen to my, uh, read, read my article. Uh, you can go to Boxing News 24. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Boxing News 24 sister site, boxing247.com and listen to my, or uh, read my story. And listen to the audio. Um, also, there's some audio, uh, a follow-up audio. So, check us out at the Fight Journal. You'll see that um, it, it, the art in the article it talked about location, location, location. Okay, so you rescheduled a fight that you know, I, I assume ticket sales were great. It seemed like it was sold pretty well early on. Uh, I didn't think the fight should be in Connecticut. I gave reasons why. And now all of a sudden, it, the rumor has it, it's going to be uh, Barclay. Barclay Center. The Barclay Center. So, what does that tell you? I mean, doctor clears you, rescheduled. You reschedule it three months later, and then you move it. Hmm. So, I like that. I like the fact that they moved it. I don't like the fact that it'll now be one year since the last guy fought and 11 months until the next one, next guy fights. So, and I say all that to say, hopefully this isn't a pattern. Now that this Broner thing is happening, this close to the fight, I, I got to wonder. I got to wonder. I really have to wonder, are we going to have a fight in D Washington, D.C.? Will Ashley Theo Payne be 36 years old before he gets his shot now? Or will the show go on without and, and something else be bumped up to the main event? What happens? Stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to some of my insiders and see if I can um, see what's going on. This this is depressing. This is depressing. This is actually where I'm where I'm at now. It's, it's actually the most beautiful day of the year, and uh, now it comes the rain. With this, with this news, this breaking news, and uh, Adrian Broner wanted by police after alleged assault over high stakes bowling. It sounds like somebody didn't pay up, and AB said, <laughs> AB must have must have allegedly.